So the feature got introduced in Oracle 11G and more important in 12.201 onwards, it got improved drastically. The idea of incremental studs is if you have list or interval partitioning, that in order to update the global statistics, we don't have to revisit the existing statistics because we store the so-called synopsis in SysOx table space. So statistics collection with incremental studs in partition environments can be way more efficient and with less overhead. There are a few known pitfalls. One of the typical pitfalls is that the synopsis in releases before 12.2 could consume a lot of space. And when I say a lot of space, I can tell you that we've seen customer environments where the synopsis alone consume more than a terabyte of space in SysOx. Also keep in mind when you transport statistics with DBMS stats, synopsis by default are not included. So if you would like to include them, please use the extra call being available in DBMS stats. Now with 12.2, the feature got significantly improved with a new algorithm for the synopsis. But the new algorithm is not picked just by default. So we have to do a little bit. Now I would like to show you at first the concept of incremental studs and then show you the configuration steps we need to take. And at third, then explain what you should do when you upgrade to 19C. The concept, we see here an orders table with a few partitions for each day a partition. Now, when we have incremental statistics on and we create new statistics, for each partition, we'll store statistics, but partition level studs. But in addition, we also take note, and this is called a synopsis in SysOx table space. With the information, the part partition level studs, <clears throat> we can now calculate the global statistics for the table. So far, so good. But when incremental stats are on and we add now a partition, now here the yellow partition for May 24th has no, part, no statistics and we gather now statistics for this partition and with the synopsis stored in SysOx table space, we can now calculate and refresh the global statistics for that table. Without incremental stats, we would have revisit all the existing partitions. But with incremental stats and the synopsis, we don't have to do that. This is the idea of incremental stats. What do we have to do? A few configuration steps. First of all, by default, incremental stats are not on. So you have to turn it on. Now you could turn it on on a database level. We disrecommend that. We recommend that you turn it on on a per table level. This is what we do here in the first call, set table prefs for the orders table incremental true. A must do is that you enable also the staleness, the incremental staleness. Because by default, if I had just, let's say we, we changed an order given a week ago in one of the existing partitions, then without incremental staleness, the statistics for this old partition will become stale right away. So that stats need to be recollected or regathered. With incremental staleness, by default 10%, this existing previous partition could change more than 10% with DML and still will be considered as okay. And you can even tweak the stainless if you need to. There may be situations, depending also on the spread of data and the number of rows in your partitions. You could tweak the stale percentage. Here in this example, we set it to 15%. By default, it's 10%. But be aware, you need to enable the incremental stainless. It's not on by default. 